The default template core plugin allows you to insert the date, the time, and the title of whatever note it is by using the syntax that looks like this. We could then add the date template inside of the backlink brackets to create a daily template that generates the date links but you can see it always goes back to today's date. If we were to use the community plugin templater, we can create a daily template that when we add the template, it adds the day in for today, the day in for yesterday, and the day in for tomorrow. Then when we click those days, it automatically creates the daily template for that day changing the dates as you go. The plugin also allows you to add much larger, more complex scripts like this, which when you replace templates in the active file, can create a calendar type table inside of the Obsidian Markdown file with links that go back to each day. For those of you on Patreon, you already have access to this template vault with this command in and the daily template setup already there. But to set the daily template up from scratch, you need to turn on community plugins, browse, find templater, install, enable, options. You will then want to trigger templater on new file creation. If you have a templates folder, which I highly advise you do have one, then you would add the template folder at the top. And for clarification, that template folder is inside your main vault. So new folder, call it template. And then to create any sort of template with templater using a command, it needs to go in between these two symbols. So this is a start symbol essentially, and this is the end one. When you start typing TP dot, it will then activate the templater auto selection. In this use case, I want to use the date, and then I can either use tomorrow, yesterday, weekday, but I'm gonna use now. And as you can see in this window, there are different things you can add to now. So you can add a format, you can add an offset, you can add a reference, and then you can add a reference format. To start with, I'm just going to add a format. So this is year, month, day. Now I want this to be a link. So I'm going to put it in square brackets. Now when I push an open daily note, it's going to create days and then automatically add today's date, which is this. But now we want yesterday and tomorrow. And then going to add some separators. So I'm going to use smaller than then two equal signs to create an arrow. You could just use a single line or whatever other symbol you want. I'm going to do a copy and paste. Add another separator and then do another paste. We can either change the beginning to tomorrow and yesterday. So instead of having now, we'd have tomorrow. And then instead of having now, we'd have yesterday. Or because we're using them now, we can actually add an offset number. So I'm going to go inside of the brackets, put a comma. And then because this is yesterday, I'm going to go minus one day. And to prove the other option works, I'm going to put tomorrow. Now, when I open up the daily note, you can see we've got a link to yesterday, which is a page that hasn't been created, a link to tomorrow, again, a page that hasn't been created, and a link to today. I now want yesterday to actually say yesterday rather than the date. So what I can do is add an alias to this. So I'm going to add a pipe simple on my keyboard. That's at the bottom left next to the Z key. Type yesterday and then type tomorrow for tomorrow. Open today's daily note and we have yesterday, today and then tomorrow. But if we click on yesterday, it didn't use the daily template. And if you have a look, the note is actually outside of the journal folder. So we can go back to the daily template and to add a location as to where the file should be added, we can add that file path. So we've now got a journal slash. So it's going to create this note inside of the journal folder. And to keep things consistent, I've changed it to now for all three of the dates. And for today, I've just added zero as the change number because I don't need it to change from now. So when we create today's daily note, we have yesterday. And when I click on yesterday, it's now creating this file, this daily note, inside the journal folder. And when I go to tomorrow, it does the same thing. But it still doesn't insert the template. So we can go to settings, the templater settings, go down to folder templates, and now we can add one. So we're going to find a folder, journal, add a template, daily template. So if a note is created in the journal folder, it will automatically add the daily template. So with an empty journal folder, I can click on open today's daily note. We then have yesterday, today, tomorrow, click on yesterday, and now it's generated that template. But you can see this is now the 24th, but it's not the 24th on this day. So it's generated the same daily template for today for yesterday. What this then means is because it's the 23rd, this tomorrow is not going to be the 24th. It's actually going to be the 25th. And that is obviously a problem because now we have the date for the same thing for three different days, which obviously isn't right. And this is where we can use the reference and the reference format from the now option rather than today or yesterday. So if we go into the brackets of the now section, type TP dot, but what can we actually reference? And I will leave a link to the documentation in the description below, but we actually want to reference the file. And when we look through the file information, I actually want to find the title because we're using the daily notes template plugin. It's going to create the note 
with the date it is, the current date, meaning we can use the date from the daily note as a reference to where they need to add or take away this one from. So inside the brackets of now, we're going to add a comma TP file title, then add the format to make sure it's the same, do the same for tomorrow. And we also want to add it to today to make sure that it is actually today. Now, when we create the daily note, we've got the same output, but if we push yesterday, it's going to create the 23rd in the journal folder with the 23rd date, so the actual day, and it's created yesterday and tomorrow, tomorrow already being created because that is the link to the 24th, which is the one we had originally. Then we click tomorrow, and now it's got the 25th. There's the template. Yesterday's created because that's today. There's the 25th, and tomorrow's ready there. This is a shorter video as part of my extended brain course where I go into more nuanced details and information about how I use Obsidian and other tools to get my work done in business, life, and research. More information found in the description below.